here to tell you all about it. Uh. When your tag is back again, go ahead and tell your friends Woo! that they can count on it. Now let the bout begin. Go ahead, count it in. One, two. Season one was cool. Season one was fun, but we've got something to prove. So we're back for season two, and you better watch out, cause we're not holding back. Oh, don't look now, cause here comes wing attack. Here comes wing attack. Here comes wing attack. Here comes, here comes, here comes wing attack. Here comes wing attack. Welcome to season two, everyone. This first week, we were battling Stadium Elite, the formerly known as E4. Tons of good battles, so let's get to it. Kicking us off this week was Ryla against Arrow in the Colony meta, leading Quagsire into Excadrill. Uh, on typing, it does seem like a positive matchup for Quagsire generally, um, but obviously the drill runs come in faster than the Earthquake. So I'm going to go ahead and throw the Earthquake here and get the shield. Um, they do get to another drill run. Gonna go ahead and play this out with a shield advantage. Gonna go ahead and bring in the Cresselia. And gonna eat this drill run. Able to get to the Grass Knot. Should be enough to knock out the Excadrill. Out comes the Galv. Gonna go ahead and swap straight into the Alolan Sand Slash. Gonna go ahead and no shield here. It is a launch, big no shield. Throwing the Ice Punch here. Gonna have to shield here. It is another lunge. Throwing the Ice Punch. Gets the last shield. Can't farm down, so gonna have to throw the Ice Punch. And gonna hop back into the Cresselia. It is a Mew, this is gonna be kind of tough. Um, although it does have a shield. Gonna go ahead and throw the Moon Blast. Gets the attack drop, which is big. Those Shadow Claws now do less damage. Gonna go ahead and uh, no shield the Surf and get to the Grass Knot. And able to Psycho Cut down, and that is GG's. Uh, Rival able to get us two points. Uh, Rubik's Master making his debut for the team. Um, Cofagrigus into Stunfisk. They safe swap uh, Gliscor. Gonna go ahead and eat a Night Slash here. And throw the Shadow Ball. It, this is going to command a shield from the Gliscor. And catches the Night Slash on the Nine Tails. Going to go ahead and eat another Night Slash. And over farm a bit. And throw the Weather Ball. And that's enough to get that Gliscor out of the way. In comes the Litleo. Gonna go ahead and throw the Overheat. Does big damage on the Litleo. And bringing in the uh, Stunfisk. And no shields the Crunch. Out comes the opposing Stunfisk. Up on energy here. Gonna be able to uh, outpace with the Mud Bombs and has a shield advantage. So looking pretty good. Gonna go ahead and shield here. Gets to another Mud Bomb. And we're going to come in with the Copagrigus and throw the Dark Pulse. And out comes the Litleo. Able to get to another Dark Pulse. Gets the final shield. Going to go ahead and no shield the first one in case there is a debuff. And able to farm down, and Rubix was able to get us a point, making it 3-3. Three to three. Playing an Ultra League against House Stark. Uh, Deoxys into Swampert. Um, given the line that I'm running, I kind of have to do a Psycho Boost and get on out of there to see if I can bait out the Machamp if it's in the line. So I bring in the Obstagoon and I bring in the Venusaur, so now we're thinking there's no Machamp there. Get a boost from the Night Slash, which is huge. Does big damage on the second one. 
Gonna go ahead and eat the first frenzy plant here. And then shield the second and counter down. Now the Swampert does have a two Hydro Cannons stored. So I'm gonna have to just throw the nice Lash. Uh, Swampert should win the CMP and does. Gonna go ahead and no shield and uh, bring back in the Deoxys. Out comes the Alolan Muck. And down shields, this is actually kind of a, a bit of a close one. I'm gonna go ahead and no shield here and go for the Zap Cannon to lower the attack. Get the first shield, and now I can go Focus Blast to um, be more energy efficient. Get to the Focus Blast. And get the second shield. Now the switch clock is coming down, so I'm able to uh, switch into the Deoxys to catch that Hydro Cannon from the Swampert. Really uh, good to uh, predict that that was going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Get the Deoxys low enough so that the Muck doesn't get too much farm. And throw the Psycho Boost. And um, they go ahead and throw right away. And then I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to have to shield this first one. And throw the Zap Cannon since I know I'm going to have to eat another one. So get the Zap Cannon off. And now it's a race to uh, either two Dark Pulses or one Focus Blast. Here comes the first Dark Pulse. And get to the Focus Blast just before he gets to that second Dark Pulse. Really good game, uh, really fun game. Uh, getting two points there, making it 5-4. Uh, In the other Colony meta, Winston the Champ against Toshi, Mirror, Galvantula. Gonna go ahead and throw the Lunge when he gets to it. And I'm gonna go ahead and let this go since it is debuffed. Gonna go and, uh, so he wins CMP, that's big. Gonna go ahead and let the Calvantula go now. Um, bring in the Alolan Sand Slash. They bring in the Hypno. Uh, and they uh, likely have Fire Punch on the Hypno, so going to have to shield. Um, and uh, Shadow Claw down. The comes up a Mew. Gonna go ahead and shield. It could be a Flame Charge. It is a Flame Charge. Gets to this Ice Punch and gets the Lash Shield. They try to catch, able to Shadow Claw down, and then throw the Ice Punch to the Mew. And uh, that's GG's Winston able to get us three points, three really big points, making the score eight to four. In open Great League Motiques against Pranav, uh, knocked out into G Fisk, not a good lead. Bringing in the wall rain, but it's running waterfall, which is a nice little wrinkle. So um, the G Fisk stayed in and threw a rock side, and out comes the Sableye. Those waterfalls really doing a lot of uh, damage. Uh, it looks like that was uh, close to a CMP here. Gonna go ahead and shield and get the Icicle Spear off to try and get that shield back. And does. And they can't farm down, they have to throw the energy. Gonna go ahead and let the uh, Walrus go. And um, bring in the Noctowl, out comes the G-Fisk. Trying to catch a Rock Slide on the Medi, but they don't fall for it. Gonna go ahead and shield. Uh, it is an Earthquake, big shield. Uh, out comes the Ninetales. Throwing the Psychic, getting the shield. And... See if they decide to uh, overheat or not. They do. Gonna go ahead and farm up some extra energy then now that the uh, Nine Tails is debuffed. And throws. Knocks out the Nine Tails. Gets to the Shadow Ball here. And needs to outpace to the Sky Attack before they get to two Rock Slides. 
in comes the first one and about one much shot away from that second rock slide that's a really really good game um Mochique's able to get one point making the score nine to six in master league darker catherine making her debut for the team as well her Zekrom into uh, Giratina. They safe swap into Mel Metal. Gonna go ahead and let them throw and then throw the wild charge at the um, Mel Metal. It goes unshielded, brings in her own Giratina. Gonna go ahead and no shield everything here and try to farm down and just load up on energy to uh, get the shield advantage needed against uh, the other Gira here. Out comes the gear again. Going straight Shadow Ball. Goes unshielded. Gets to the Ominous Wind. And knocks out the gear. Trying to hot swap in. Goes into the X Control Mirror. Gets to the first drill run. Gets the first shield. At this point, I think she is behind an energy. It looked like a little bit of a. Uh, desync there gets to the second drill run and uh gonna go ahead and let the uh the drill go and bring in the zekrom needs to shield here gets the crunch and the crunch should be enough to knock out the excadrill and Dragon Breath down the Mel Metal, and that's a good game. Uh, Catherine gets us two points, making the score 11 to 7, and giving us the week one win. And in the other Alchemy slot, Kano against um, ILQM uh, gets met by the Sand, uh, sand Slash. Um, gonna try and commit to winning Switch here. So it goes down two shields. Um, so while he maintains alignment, but he went down two shields, kind of a tough spot here. Hopefully he can kind of RPS the back line. Um, but up two shields, uh, the stuff is going to be a bit of a problem here against the Noctowl and the um, Stunfisk as well. Probably has to catch or just force the energy to be thrown at the Owl. Throwing the... Uh, Shadow Ball. Thinking he could catch, but uh, does not catch. And at this point, it's pretty much uh, GG with the shield deficiency um, and the energy advantage that that Stunfisk has. Uh, tough matchup here for Kano. Um, but made it pretty close considering uh, the tough alignment there at first. But did have to get down two shields and so that is a difficult position to get out of especially in this meta gets to the shadow ball um will survive another discharge but they'll outpace to the second charge move here and it does um unfortunately not able to get a point so the final score was 11 to 10 uh ggs to stadium elite uh thanks everyone for watching uh, make sure you catch us next week when we battle icy wind um we'll see you then thanks here comes wing attack here comes wing attack here comes wing attack here comes here comes here comes wing here comes wing